What's up guys? I wasn't really planning on making a video today, but uh, I have a topic I want to talk about. And for that, I have to give you a bit of backstory. For the last year or so, I've been rethinking my video game collecting and why I'm doing it all. And why I can't get excited for many other collectible hobbies. There are so many Pokemon fans, Yu-Gi-Oh fans, and even though I'm enjoying these things, I cannot get excited about anything but video games and some movies. And I've been thinking why? Why do I enjoy collecting video games so much? While I was looking through my games and enjoying my collection, I was I keep looking at my favorite collection I have, and that's the Warp and Kenji Enno collection. Basically almost every game ever released by the developer Warp directed or produced by Kenji Eno, and it clicked. Why I'm into all of this stuff. Why I keep buying these games. Why I keep hoarding all of this crap that not many people care about. It's not the monetary value, because a lot of my games are pretty expensive. It's something very different. When I look at this collection, I don't see games. I see a story of a person trying to make it in life. I see the story of Kenji Eno starting his own company, trying to make, make quirky games, moving along from genre to genre, trying things out, trying to land a hit, which he eventually did with D. But even after that, like he didn't realize this was the way to go to be successful in the business. He kept trying with different things, a mahjong game, another puzzle game, a weird mini game collection. And then uh, I think it finally clicked that D was the way to go. But even then he went to other other things like Casino Regret, which, which is a audio drama, eventually settling on D2, after many rewrites and redevelopments of the game, re-releasing D, and when I look at all of this, I don't see games. I see the story of a person going his way through life. What I can learn from that, you're not going to succeed right away. Even your second time, you may produce something crap nobody cares about. Even the third time, when you try to redo what was kind of successful in the beginning, it may not work out. But eventually, you will land a hit. And when you land a hit, you can capitalize on that. But you may realize that the hit that you are following, D1 with D2, is not what makes you happy. Kenji Eno quit after finishing D2 and went another way entirely, focusing on his music, on his software company outside of games. And he said, even though he was successful, right, he, he wasn't feeling like he was doing what he should do with his life after the development of D2. Without collecting games, I would not have learned so many lessons about myself, about humans, about their lives, about a career in the creative fields, about finding yourself, expressing yourself through games, through art. If I had not collected and played all of these games, if I had not followed that person's life, I don't think I would be where I am right now. I'm here because of gaming. I'm here because of games. And I'm here because of video game collecting. And having this story of a man's life, of a man that I admire greatly, it's something special. Taking a look at failure, success, dealing with it, and maybe deciding that it's not the way to go. And I thought I'd share that. So what I want you to do as a homework right now, why do you collect games? To make money? To have a pastime that you enjoy doing? 
or maybe there's more behind it. 